What do you attribute the kind of fascination that people have if the time travel aspects, as you guys show, are really not possible in the classic sense, in the interstellar uh, movie sense, so to speak? Um, what? Why do you think people are so fascinated in it? Why do you think that people use this as a as a plot device so frequently? Uh, that it's almost become kind of a, a, a trope in a sense uh, that people really look look to wormholes to solve a lot of problems in in, in movie plot devices. Yeah, well, we, we, I mean, the speed of light is uh, yeah, is tough. I mean, it doesn't allow us to go too far. I That's mean, right. They say it's not only a good idea; it's the law, right? Yeah, it's the law, and and uh, and it's uh, well. It, it, I think authors like to go outside the, the the realm of ordinarily established laws of physics they usually the the statement is oh well now we that's what we think now maybe in the future we'll realize it there is a way to go around it and that might well be true so it might well be true that we find a way to go around but going around this it's a very serious change to the laws of physics so i i i personally would bet very strongly against. Actually, I remember that there, a few years ago there was an experiment claiming that the neutrinos travel faster than Yeah, light. the opera experiment, that's right. <laughs> yeah, so I met one of my neighbors and so, oh, you see, you, I, uh, you know, relativity is wrong and so on. <laughs> so I said, okay, fine, I, I bet you $1,000 that uh, this experiment will go away. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to take the bet. <laughs> yeah. Financially wise. Uh, <laughs> uh, and yeah, I mean, it is possible. Well, everything is possible. But uh, right. there are some things that are more unlikely than, uh, than others. So. Yeah, a lot of times we talk on this channel and we have talked about, you know, theories of everything, which I definitely want to get into uh, with you as well. I can't miss the opportunity to discuss it. But, you know, o- oftentimes this kind of uh, perception that such things are not really falsifiable or not testable. And so mm-hmm. why should we kind of expend time, energy, money, uh, which is so finite in, in value, in, in, in amount, but infinite in value? What, what are kind of some of the uh, motivations to study these things when, you know, for example, some of the criticism, you know, on the yeah. internet of the, of the recent tra- humanly traversable wormhole theory is that, you know, we don't even know if the Randall syndrome cosmology model five or whatever even exists and there's no evidence for that so why study you know kind of an an edifice that's built upon something which may not even exist right 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 so here here we we are exploring not the the things that nature as exists but possible natures that are consistent with the laws of the general principles of physics of general relativity special relativity etc quantum mechanics um with the goal of just understanding what is possible, the, the goal is not so it's not so much to go and build and look for this wormhole. It's just well, that paper was just a fine exercise. But the main main goal is to I think the main goal is to understand black holes better, quantum aspects of black holes, mm-hmm. uh, with the goal of understanding why, well, how quantum gravity works. So black holes are an interesting problem because they force us to think about quantum <coughs> gravity in interesting ways and, and, and if um does that not presuppose that there exists a uh, a theory of everything in other words is it mandatory uh, certainly it seems that um wormholes at, at least non uh simply connected regions are permissible in classical gr but certainly to have the wormhole as described uh in the paper seems to rely on on, on quantum processes as you as you yeah. very rightfully explained but um but i want to ask maybe a deeper question which is uh, kind of your opinion on theories of everything in general which is that you know do we need a theory of everything is right. it mandatory right. that we have yeah. one? i i don't like to match the word theory of everything yeah me neither. Uh, <laughs> i didn't use it the, no but I, I think what we need is a theory of quant- what I, we would call quantum gravity. So the quantum mechanics of space-time, or a theory of quantum space-time. And this is needed because the current theories do not explain what happens in certain circumstances, like what happens at the very beginning of the Big Bang, or what happens in the interior of black holes. And um, we would need that theory to really put all these principles that we discussed at the beginning of the 20th century together. And, uh, if, if you call that everything, yeah, that's uh, yeah. 
of everything that we learned in the 20th century, of general relativity and quantum physics. Um, the, the formalism of quantum field theory came from uh, putting together quantum mechanics and special relativity. And I think we like to put in general relativity. And, and this is a very, very constrained structure. So the question, I mean, one question that uh, I think that the fact that we need this theory is clear. Uh, you could question whether we will ever get this theory without doing experiments. Um, so I think this is a valid question. Now, why why do we think we might get a theory like this? Is that well, we have some examples of candidate theories that are mostly like we should really think of them as theories under construction, like string theory and so on, which uh, which have uh, lots of mathematical intricacies and, and are. Put together, managed to put together gravity and quantum mechanics. Um, we don't know whether it's the right theory for nature. Uh, we don't know if that's the correct framework to or correct theory, special theory to describe nature. But the goal, I think, is to is that by thinking about those theories, you might even be able to abstract some principles that uh, could be used to describe nature. Uh -huh. um, and um, in the process, people discuss, discover all kinds of relationships between these theories and mathematics and other areas of physics, and might uh, even uh, and, and 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 we now think that gravity and quantum mechanics are connected in in many different ways. And that, uh, so perhaps a provocative idea is that you might be able to build a little toy universe in a lab. So yeah, uh, yeah. Zia Morali, a friend <laughs> of mine, has what? written a book about a big bang in a little room, which is a wonderful little book.